If you're like me, there's nothing more frustrating than running your gel at the end of a long day to find that your protein is degraded. Well, here are four simple things you can do to minimize that pesky protease activity. Number one, disrupt your samples in a solution with a strong denaturing agent like 7 to 9 molar urea or 2% SDS, because in this environment, enzymatic activity is often negligible. Number two, perform cell disruption at low temperatures. You can use ice or maybe in the cold room to also reduce enzymatic activity. Lies your samples at pH 9 or greater because proteases are often less active at basic pH. And if you want to, you can also add chemical protease inhibitors to your buffer like PMSF, EDTA or pepstatin, or you could use a protease inhibitor cocktail. Follow these simple tips and your protein should be safe and sound when you run that gel at the end of the day. Now, if you have any lab tips that you think no postdoc or grad student should live without, send them on over to us labnotes at byride.com. For more tips and tricks, subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our other Lab Notes episodes. From how to keep FPLC columns in tip-top shape to pouring the perfect protein gel, we've got you covered. That's all from me.